Boom. Welcome back to the big board. Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick update on publishing stuff uh, from, on the blog that's coming out, uh, mainly uh, some replays that I am well behind on uh, writing up for all of you. It's uh, taken more time than I would have liked to, but that is kind of the nature of the beast. When you play, take pictures, and, uh, and then have to write it all up, and hopefully your notes are good enough that you can actually remember what you did, right? So uh, a little bit of a little bit of a, a funky thing there. Uh, so uh, I've got um, the balance of Assault on Tobruk, the Paper Wars game write up, which is pretty much a straight, just a what happened type of thing. It's no, certainly not getting into any of the the uh, technical details on the game terribly uh, much, nor is it uh, a review. Uh, I wouldn't put it as that. I believe I did do some sort of uh, nominal review uh, work for for that in a video, so you can go find that on the on the YouTube channel and stuff like that. I've got a uh, of Minds and Men scenario from Heroes of Vietnam, which is a lock and low tactical game that's coming up shortly. Uh, that is a I think that's a three-part scenario write-up. Uh, certainly enjoyed that. That was actually a scenario that I had not played <clears throat> before, and it was taken from one of the battle packs. I believe Battle Pack Bravo. So it's a it's a pretty cool uh, little scenario. It's got to, to some different uh, objectives and different technologies. This you know barricades and mines and stuff and things like that. So it was kind of cool. Uh, I have a full. Uh, playthrough write-up of a victory complete which I, I broke out and uh, set up again I had played that once several years ago and really enjoyed it it didn't really get very far with it but I enjoyed the way the uh, the activations worked in that particular uh, game and also the the combat mechanics they weren't uniquely different but they were smart enough to bring that World War One kind of feel to to the system that's the you know victory denied uh, whatever it is uh, that that system that uh, I think uh, they were Japanese oriented uh, Japanese designer uh, games that now I can't remember who who did them I know Starkweather uh, brought them to uh, MMP, but anyway, I, I played that out, uh, enjoyed that immensely. It was a, a, a lot of fun to sort of recreating that Eastern Front, <clears throat> Eastern Front World War One uh, conflict. Obviously, got uh, write up coming for Salerno Forty Three. You've probably seen some of the videos. I just finished recording the last reading uh, for the the textbook, uh, not textbook, uh, the Rick Atkinson's uh, sort of narrative history of uh, of the. The Sicily campaigns and, and in particular Salerno landings is pretty detailed right up from him there. So you'll have that to, uh, you can go listen to if you want. That's th it's a three-part uh, gig. Uh, we kind of run through uh, quotes and reading there. And I'll have a playthrough of Salerno with a lot of images, a full campaign effort there for you. Uh, I believe A Week in Hell, uh, Battle of Way from Battles Magazine number three should be I think I've scheduled most of that. I don't think I've, uh, I think I've finished with the write up on that. Uh, I'm not sure now as I think about it, but I think it's a three part deal. So you have that coming. I've got some uh, Battles to the Rhine that I played, uh, which is Lock and Low Tactical again. It was one of those little uh, miniature uh, or small modules that they have been releasing lately. And uh, I, I played it and wrote it up and had all sorts of trouble uploading for some reason. There was some issue with with either where my images were stored when I created the document and then when I went to upload it, I'd moved them. And so I finally figured that out a few weeks ago and that was done months and months ago, but that's available. That, that'll that be coming out in the next uh, little bit as well. So that's sort of what the uh, past plays. What I've got going on currently is I've got a battle scenario for Pacific War set up. I've been futzing around with the rules a little bit. Uh, just making sure that I'm doing it right because I, I do want to try and do a little bit of video on it and I don't want to go talking through concepts and things if I'm expressing them incorrectly. I don't get yelled at by Herman and he's mean sometimes. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look we'll take a look at that battle. I, I might I may just write it up and that way you won't see all my mistakes. You'll just get to uh, see the finished product. 
Uh, so we'll we'll get that done. That should probably get done this weekend. I'm catching up with Mike Denson this weekend on Sunday. I think we're going to do... I won't be streaming it live, I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe we will. But I'm definitely probably going to record the Vassal session. He and I are going to play uh, Last 100 Yards from the and do the Solomon's uh, Pacific... Um, um uh, scenario from the Pacific, uh using the Marines or something like that. So we'll get uh get in amongst it with that. So that'll be fun to do and uh you'll see some content for that pretty soon. Ara Court should arrive if not today, Monday, so a couple of weeks we'll get that onto the table and I'm excited to re engage with the BCS system, particularly given that Carl Fong has been writing up uh, a lot about the, the future of the system and how solid the rules are lately. So I think I'm ready to get re-engaged with that, uh, that, that game. It has uh, it eluded me. Uh, my confidence with the system is really low. Let's put it that way. Um, I have a campaign running, uh, which we will start next Monday. We've done three or four practice turns and activations in the SES uh, North Africa game. So we'll be starting a campaign of that. I will uh, slowly release, that's all on Vassal, I'll slowly release that over the next few months because uh, I don't want to expose my strategy to my opponent uh, in video or uh, in posts. So I, I kind of let the let the game progress a little while and then we'll see what happens. Uh, I've got that going. Hopefully you'll be playing some Totenkopf, uh, Death Ride, Kursk soon. Uh, we've done two or three turns sort of in prep for a con that I'm going to in April, uh, late April. And uh, that will be four of us playing across, I think, two modules in a, you know, in a four player, uh, two, two per side uh, scenario type of thing. So we'll, I think we're doing uh, the Totenkopf division and maybe Liebestad. Uh, I forget which one it is now, what the other module is, but regardless, it'll be relatively big. I think I'm playing the Soviets, so I'll just have to get, sit there and uh, throw artillery at things. So that'll be cool. All right, so that's all of that. And then I'm moving in you know, the last couple of weeks in May. And there's my front, there's my front door. All right, that was the doorbell and some uh, tradesmen doing something. So now it's probably a good time to wrap it up. I'm not exactly sure where I ended up, but I think we were talking about some of the uh, incremental uh, games that I'll be playing and we'll uh, just deal with things as they pop up. Oh, that's right, I was talking about moving. So the move is going to be pretty disruptive and I'm, I'm still trying to work out what games I want to keep in a box that I can set up at a small footprint and play on a regular basis so I have... Uh, some opportunity to roll some dice. So uh, we, we'll talk more about that maybe in a live stream at some point. You guys can, uh, we can talk through what my options might be. All right, catch you later. Ciao.